But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Greetings and welcome people of God. You're inside the shift. I'm your girl Aldin. It's Testimony Tuesday up inside here. Mighty God. Ada. Ehi. Saying only you Jesus. We big up God today. Only you can do. Yes sir. Say only Jesus is God. Take your place. You're inside the shift. of God we are on here to tell of the goodness and greatness of our King Jesus nobody like him just like you walk the streets of Galilee you are doing the same today and like you heal the sick and you raise the dead somebody said talk truth what he's done for others he'll do for you it is no secret what our God can do you're inside the shift I'm your girl Aldine it's testimony Tuesday and you know how we do it you know how we've come with stories to tell and so today it's no different. We've come with stories to tell, giving God all the praise, giving him all the glory, giving him all the honor, because only he can do, undo, redo what he has done. Mighty God. So today we have connected with a brother, brother Christopher Campbell by name, and brother Chris, he has a story to tell. Last year, March, he fell ill people of God one Sunday in March he fell ill and two days after that he woke up not knowing himself but the doctors you know came with a diagnosis glory to God they they came with a diagnosis to say oh you know he had a, a bleeding in his brain and he, he got a stroke in his brain mighty God so one year ago that diagnosis was made. An operation was scheduled. Oh, glory to God to remove a tumor. But God, oh, Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus did a knifeless, a bloodless surgery upon our brother here today. So he's rejoicing now because of what the Lord would have done for him. So we have brought him on the program today to share his story. All because of the goodness and the uh, grace of God. Brother Chris, we welcome you here on Inside the Shift today. Mighty God. Yes, it's Charlie. Yes, we're, we're connecting with you, but it seems that the call is tripping. So I'm saying welcome to Testimony Tuesday. 
Yes, Sister Alden. Thank you to have me this morning. Yes, I, I, I just told the listeners how God did a bloodless surgery on you. Yes. Because when the doctors wanted to operate on you for a tumor, the Lord would have removed it. So just go right on ahead and tell them the story, my brother. Tell them how it happened, you know, how the Lord brought you through. Okay. Yes. All right. So, uh, 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 Sunday, last year, March, mm -hmm. I got to work on a Sunday. And I work so good. No problem. No work. Me and my brother-in-law was outside washing the car, them and reasoning. Then I got inside and said, I wanted to eat some dinner, watch some telly, and then go on my bed. Mm -hmm. So around, around little after 12 o'clock, I wake up with a terrible headache. Yes. What? Hold on, brother Chris. Hold on. I'm going to try to connect you again. Because the car keeps tripping, so I'm going to connect you again. Mighty God, people, I tell you, when the Lord is working wonders in us, if you have a testimony, don't be afraid to share it. Don't be afraid to tell what the Lord is doing in your life. So we continue to give God all the praise, all the glory up inside here. I'm connecting with our brother, you know, for him to tell us his story. So we, 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 we're calling out to Brother Chris for him to... Brother Chris, we... Yes, sister, uh, yes, sister, yes. Blessings, blessings. So we have connected with you again. So you were you were saying that you, you know, you were outside. It's a Sunday you went to work. You were outside with your brother-in-law washing the car and thing. You went inside and went to bed. And continue to tell us, brother. Yes, sister. I say I wake up in the night with a terrible idea. Yes. Like my head, my head going to split up. Mm -hmm. Terrible, terrible idea. Come say terrible you don't imagine it. Terrible. And I wake up, my wife said, wake up, something wrong with me. And she said, well, me said, something me head a tear up. Yes. And by the time I said that to her, I said, I want to go to the bathroom. I said, like, I want to vomit. And, and she rushed with me to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And what I said, when I vomit, I said, like, it won on my belly. I remember saying, my head hurt me. And I have vomit, you know, so you know that the pain there, you know. Mm -hmm. And me can remember when she bring, she said to me, say, I'm going to bring you to hospital, you know, but me not too like the hospital thing. So me I said, no man, maybe we can drink some tea and you know? Yes. And she said, she said, no, me I bring you to hospital and she she run out, she you know so she bring me back on the bed and she run out of the house to call my brother and law. Mm -hmm. So my brother my brother and la when she come back now she me me, 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 me don't know how we close go on. She know the truth, me don't know how we close go on. But yes. all me can remember. Yes. I can't remember after that when I reached the hospital. I mm -hmm. remember when I reached the hospital. And I remember when they put me in a wheelchair. And I said to my wife, I said, you know, I feel like I want to vomit again. And she said, me like, she said, nurse. And like she said, she said nurse, I vomit up the whole place. Yes. And after I vomit up the whole place, sister, I don't remember nothing more. <laughs> You're blackout. Me blackout clean. Yes. Until Tuesday morning now. So that's a oh, Sunday. Yes. That has, that yes, happened to your Sunday and you wake up two days after Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yes. Yes. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. me, see me, me see my family then come in and visit me and, you know. Yes. My wife, my wife is there till Wednesday now. Me can't remember myself. Good Wednesday. More. Mm -hmm. When they come Wednesday now and they must say me have to go to the U.S. hospital. Mm -hmm. But... No ambulance never did to bring me up there. Yes. So, them wait till Thursday, but they, in Spanish town, them diagnosed me with bleeding, uh -huh. bleeding in the brain. Yes. And, and strokes in the brain. Yes. That them diagnosed me with. Yes. In Spanish town. Yes. So, the ambulance take me now to, to a, play, a doctor place so me do the MRI. Yes. And when me there, you know, they put me in that thing to do the MRI. Yes. And me just, you know, me just pass out. I pierce sleep me asleep, so me just pass out. So me remember when they wake me up now, mm -hmm. and said me must come out now. So me said, me said to my wife, say, why you the bathroom? Yes. And she said, she said to me, say, the nurse said to me, say, she might give me something to use. So me said, no, I want go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So she then put me back in the wheelchair and bring me to the bathroom. Yes. When they bring 
me to the bathroom, when my wife bring me to the bathroom now and put on my clothes. When me ever come out back in the wheelchair, sister. Yes. Me say, me say, hold on, let me look in the mirror. Cause one glass in, in, in there. Yes. So me look, sister, and look for myself. Me say, me weak. Mighty and God. Me, me right eye shut right down and me never know. So your eye lock all the time, your, your right eye close all the time and you don't know. I don't know because you don't tell me he lock and I don't know. At yeah. that time, they never see myself. First, you see yourself. First, you see yourself since Sunday. Yes. Mighty yes. God. First, it's first. And then, sister then took me up to the, the, the UE hospital. And then, me up there till they get me on the ward. Yes. And then get me on the ward, me get number one bed. So, me the right at the front in the hospital, right mm-hmm. at the front. In so when they put me on the ward, you know, me start me a fret, you know, me a fret. Come me out, me a try wonder if me lick me head, if me drop, you know, all type of things are coming at me. Yes. Come me a say, oh me just six one, nothing never wrong with me, nothing at all never do me up. Yes. Not do me. Eh. Mm. So me, me start fret, come me a fret, and I say no man, I walk around with me. Yes. So in the in the morning, you know, go to the next day, you know, me and the nurse them. I wake up and like them, I say, them I go tidy the patient, them know. Mm-hmm. So, you know, me jump up and no one's there and me afraid still. Me still afraid. Come here and say, me not, me not really like hospital, that's the number one. Mm-hmm. And you see, me in hospital now with so many people sick around, you know, and me I say, no man, something really wrong. Me, my know, sister, me cannot walk, you know. Yes. Me can't walk. Me hardly can't move. Mm-hmm. Me high lock, and me, and me say me did it, and me afraid, and I say I walk. And sister, me just hear a voice say, I am God. Mighty God. Me say, me say, me just did it, afraid, and me bed, you know, and me just hear a voice say, I am God. Yes, sir. And you see, after that, sister, there is no more fretting for Chris. Yes. There is no more fretting, because when me hear I am God, me know say me from me a child, me mother grow we up. It is seven away. Yes. Close. I may always be the pastor. <laughs> preach. Yeah, I may always be the preacher. I may always be the German, you know? Yes, sir. With my sister, then, I my me next brother, and that's how we used to go on, and, you know? Well, so, me know me close to God. Well, Mr. Mrs. Mrs. Sita, because you get a message for preaching, you know? The Lord Jesus is a healer. Yes, ma. Yes, he's a healer. Mm-hmm. Yes, Yes. Mm-hmm. And me I said, because I want to come out, I want to get better. And she said, 
But we don't fit to do the surgery, so she has it. Yes. But the next, the next doctor then said, me fit. So me, have, me have listen to the next doctor then. Mm-hmm. This doctor, God, God is so real. Yes, sir. Me, me say, sister, the morning when me, have, me get up the morning, ready up, you know, I look for them, I come when me look for the doctor, I come, you know. Yes. Me say, yes. Me say, yes, this is it. He said, Sister Aline, the doctor come. And the doctor said, Mr. Campbell, I have bad news and I have good news. Yes. So he said to me, he said, the government says to lock down the surgery. So no surgery can do. Yes. And the surgery compartment to lock down. Yes. The surgical department to lock down. Yes. Yes. And the good news, call your wife to come to you, you're going home. Yes, sir. Sister Aline. He said that's a good news, you know, but to me, that's how nice bad news is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, that is a bad news to me, because I never want to go home, I want to do the surgery if you come out, that's what I want. Yes, because what then? So I never, never do surgery, so I don't know how we do, but we just want to get over the sickness. Yes. And Sister Ali, I call my wife, my sister, and then Rush come, and my wife, I say, no, my wife, I say, when she can't be home, what she ever do? Mm-hmm. Can me so sick, me can't walk, me eye closed down. But me eye is kind of open, but me still not see. Oh, yes. It, you know? And she has said, what she ever do, you know, and one of the nurses go say to her, say, don't make them send you, send home your husband, find you, and you know? Yes. But me happy, the doctor said me happy go home. Listen, you know, yeah? Yes, listen to me, man. I got to write a life story, you know. Me, me say, yes. oh God, oh God, me say, sister Lynn, my wife carry me home. I know me can't walk. You know, sister Lee in a wheelchair. They might be carry me and then put me in the car and my sister drive me home mm-hmm. and me lie, me lie down on my wife's lap and go right home. Yes. When when we reach home, sister Lee and she bring me in, me dip on the bed and we did it and we pray and you know, me now let God, you know. Mm-hmm. And we see the sister Lee the next day, the next day, me, she, Hold me and she had bring me in the bathroom. Yes. And she had made me sit down to go brush my teeth and like me, I said, let me say, me can't stand up, you know? Yes. And this all in me, I don't know what I said, still let me the panic bed again. You pass out again? And I find myself a ball, panic bed, a ball. Mighty and God. And I said, like me, I said, look how they send me home. Pass out, this all in, pass out in the bathroom. And when I wake up, I see my wife a ball. Yes, cause she think you're dead now. She think you're dead. Mighty God. When we wake up and me find myself about love, but me say, and when 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 my wife about so far, that me say you know. And I I I know I'm not a nurse, I'm not a physician. Night me and I sing and I say the the Lord is my shepherd, and you know. Yes. And let me tell you something, Sister Aline. My wife me, Janiel. Yes. Tell you know. May God bless our soul that play the man. Miss and no prayers were going up for you. <laughs> she said, I'm a piece of me, I'm a fool. Yes, sir. I'm a prayer. I said, touch me, fam. I said to me, too. Mighty God. I said, when that girl pray, I mm-hmm. said, one pastor, one pastor, one seven day pastor, and come up to And my auntie and Lali come up and then come. And when him hear her, me when him say yes, that like him said that is a righteous girl. He know mm-hmm. when he hear someone yes, like sir. that praying. <laughs> yes, mighty God. So fast, so fast, track a little bit in our quiz because guess what? Yes. We're in 2021. So tell us now because um you would have been going to the hospital back and forth, back and forth. Um, yes. yes. So me want you yes. fast track and tell us now what happened. Doing right. yeah. After that, you know me and now them call me back in me. Yes. I said they're ready to do the search, you know. Mm-hmm. All right. And we go up there. We go up there in me to do the surgery. And when we go up there, then you know they put me on watch, string me up, ready to do the surgery. The morning. So mm. my wife and my wife and my sister sit down outside. I say, then just I keep me company because they soon leave. Yes. Then anyway, me lie down and I go and pray and thank God and I. I've got to carry me through and then you know, we see the doctor come with like breeze <laughs> the entire because of far me in up and one far water. Yes. So when he reach the can't say my blue and tired and he said, he said, 
Me and we used to go and tell her husband to no tell surgery. You, tell your wife. Stop the surgery again, sister Harley. Yes. <laughs> me have to go home again. Mm-hmm. That's the way doctor says. So me have to go home again, sister. And me say, me the woman, me and go from back and forth and go till them, till the other day them. We go up here and they say me must. That's a this year now. You're talking about this year. You know this year. 2021, yes. you went up there now. Yes. 2021 now, me went up there now. Yes. Yes. Mighty God. And we, and, and we go up there now. Mm-hmm. And we do the, me, me do the, the MRI. Yes. Yes, we do that. And we bring it up there and we get the doctor now. So when we go up there, you know, I'm sitting at the chair. The first thing the doctor said to me, he said, you, you do the surgery already? And we said, no. Mm-hmm. And he said to my wife, say, if I come, you come to put me down for the surgery. Yes. And my wife, my wife said, my wife said, depends on what you see. And the MRI the, result. The, yes. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. So when, when he looked at his sister, he, like him, I said, he told him, he can't say nothing what he now say at all. Yes. He, Looking, 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 killing, he can't take no more turn to me and say, But you look like you're not know, going to surgery because I can't see this thing. Glory to God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I think say look like we can't do it. So he said, I'm going to go to the higher doctor now. Yes. The bigger doctor. Mm-hmm. So when he go to the bigger doctor, then stay around 20 minutes before they come. Mm-hmm. When they come now, the doctor come in and him look and him look at it and him said, we are the big something right now your head. Remember now, I think we said, we look pan it though, we look pan it. And he said, big like a lime, you know. Eh, so the, 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 the big like a lime. Yes, yes. He started to say, now, where is the something where it's big like a lime where in my head? Mm-hmm. Where it's gone. You know, like him, I said, it's not just flash and gone, you know? Yes. And my wife give out and say, is the, is the God where we serve? Mighty God. Is the God where we serve for so here the next doctor? All, all I can say is the medication. Lord Jesus. People of God, people of God, hold on, people of God, I want to know, understand. This gentleman is saying that they did an MRI on him and the results showed uh, a, the tumor the size of a lime in his head. Right. And when he went back, glory to God, because the Lord kept canceling the surgery, canceling the surgery. When the devil said no, Jesus said yes. When the devil said yes, Jesus said no. And the Lord kept on canceling the surgery, canceling the surgery because they saw something in his head, the tumor, size of a lime. But when they, when he went back, glory to God, they could not find the thing. Jesus is a healer and he heals all the time. So uh, listen, people of God, I know that God is still in the healing business. Isn't brother Chris? Still in the healing business. Who could it be? Who could it be? But Jesus. Hmm? Who could it be? Something big like a lime in my head. Disappear. Ah, eh? That is God's truth. <laughs> Mr. Big like a lime. The doctor them stand up like them laugh. Yes, sir. Fly, please, fly, please see. Mighty can't God. Believe. Can't see it. Mr. Sister. Who could it be? Who could it be oh, but Jesus? God. Mighty God. Mighty God. People of... wonderful God. Yes. Yes. We serve a, a great, wonderful big, God. wonderful God. He's a healer. Yes. Yes. He was wounded for yes. our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. Mighty yes. God. The tumor was nailed to the cross with Jesus Christ when he died. Right. Yes. And healing has long been procured. Before the foundation of the earth. So we give God praise and glory up inside here. I decree and I declare that our God is a healer. He's our Jehovah Rapha. He can do for you what he has done for brother Chris. Got you any rivers that seem uncrossable. Any mountains you can't tunnel through. God is the impossibility specialist. And he can do for you what no other power can do. No obya man, no sorcerer, nothing, nobody. Oh, but for God, only God could be God. So there we have it, people of God. Brother Chris, I want to thank you for coming on here today to share your victory, testimony, how God has healed you. You you, you choose to believe the report of the Lord. You know, whose report we choose to believe? We choose to believe the report of the Lord. And so today we are just grateful to him because he is and forever will be are a hope of salvation and reason to live. So, Brother Chris, I thank you. 
for coming on here today mighty god people you're inside the shift i'm your girl Adine, and i'm saying peace out until tomorrow god's willing when we meet back up inside here for worship wednesday yes sir only god only god only god can somebody call him by his name jesus he's more than able He's more than capable to do, undo, and redo what he has done. Be blessed and have a blessed day.